we have to remind ourselves sometimes just how great Sydney is. How many cities in the world offer as much as ours? A lifestyle, a climate, and of course places that aren't just world class, they have become synonymous with Sydney. And we now have an opportunity to reinvigorate a fantastic part of Sydney Harbour, Barangaroo South. At the moment, the piece of ground is just a great sheet of concrete. It's quite hideous. Clearly needs development, clearly needs to be uh, both public and private. Over half of the site has been made into a park. The 22 hectare Barangaroo redevelopment by the New South Wales Government and Lend Lease presents us with an extraordinary opportunity. We're nearing the, the, the place where we have consolidation of this vision of having a green necklace around Sydney's harbour. Barangaroo Parklands create this fantastic partner to the Botanic Gardens and the Domain. From the north, from the headland, you have wild headland spaces recreated down to water coves. Very active central precinct, which is a parkland. Back into the dynamic and activated urban city centre of Barangaroo South. One of the great strengths of Barangaroo is that it completes this, I think it's 14 kilometres of walkway, all the way from the, I think from Glebe Point through to Wollongong Bay. There's an economic underpinning, but there's a great environmental and civic improvement. Barangaroo South plays a key role in the transformation of the former port into a dynamic destination. A new workplace for 23,000 people it will strengthen Sydney's reputation as Southeast Asia's most innovative financial services hub. Even if the high buildings are not at all in human scale, down where you are must be in human scale, so scale is very important. The spaces should not be too big and too windswept that the sun gets in where you need the sun and where you need the shade. Barangaroo South is an exciting new area with great public spaces, commercial and residential buildings. The residential there is important. People living there means eyes on the streets and security and all of the things that cities need to make you feel safe. A landmark international hotel at the water's edge will become a new Sydney icon. It does need to be bold and make a statement. The world no Sydney by its icons, you know, the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. And the Barangaroo Hotel, I think, has the opportunity to make just such a statement. We desperately need new capacity, but importantly, we need a world's best hotel, an iconic pub for Sydney. Having the image of the, the tall ships coming into the dockside, and it's important that I think it does have a sort of hint of an industrial heritage to it. It, is, it has to have um, beautiful transparent qualities to it, it has to have the scale and grain. The hotel as an iconic design-led development will give us that exceptional you know, story to tell the world. And that image that we can keep selling our city from. One of the most exciting aspects of the plans is the creation of a new ferry terminal. Ferries celebrate the nature of Sydney more than anything else I can think of. An important part of a new transport hub are ferries. It's going to bring you right into the heart of the city, connect you into a vineyard, connect you with a light rail. And of course new streets which are designed to have separated cycleways. Good streets create great places for walking. More than anywhere, Barangaroo will have this fantastic connection to the whole of Sydney. The high quality tenants and owners that, that will be coming into that precinct once it's developed will demand and expect the very best in design, the very best in terms of environmental sustainability. Barangaroo South will take a world-leading position on sustainability with an area-wide approach. The aim of this decade is for buildings to share infrastructure. 
with the aim of reducing water and energy consumption. Yeah, it's a brand new day. Barangaroo South will be carbon neutral. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, uh, waste, uh, and of course on this site also transportation. The second component that we've looked at is embodied carbon, um, and that's associated with the manufacture of the materials. It is setting the benchmark for how we're going to develop sustainable cities for the future. It's a brand new day. Barangaroo South. It means so much to Sydney. You have urban squares stepping into the water, you have bridges over coves, Families, children, workers and visitors are going to use this part of the city. Similar in scale to that of the Opera House forecourt, north facing, we don't have a waterfront square like this. The spaces people move around in, absolutely crucial for the overall quality of the whole scheme. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to make a statement which will have tourism benefit for our whole country. Barangaroo South is for all of Sydney. It's a place for future generations of Sydney siders and visitors alike. It's an opportunity to support the city's growth in the most sustainable way possible.